Even if it's the worst, you know what you want to do. You're afraid to express it. You're afraid to say it. I remember myself, I, when I started doing my tshuva, I wanted to learn Kabbalah. I knew it, that that is the thing that I want to do. I knew I want to learn the secret. I want to know Kabbalah. I didn't know what it means, Kabbalah. I didn't know that really Kabbalah was not the thing that I am looking for. But I know that that was what it, I wanted to do and I was afraid to express it. I was afraid to talk about it with people, with my old friends for sure. Every one of them took me to conversations, conferences, we were sitting, everyone were judging me in public. My father told me, I'm going to kill myself if you're going to do tshuva, I'm going to drive from a cliff, I'm going to die if you're going to keep Shabbat. My mother told me, I'd rather you're going to be gay and not going to be religious. Great, all of the conversations. And my aunt, she was calling and come, we need to talk, come to my studio, I was coming, going, everyone, conversations. You can do that, not to your father, you cannot do that, not to your mother, what are you doing? If you're going to do that, you're going to have to, you think that religious people are sitting Shiva on their children, right? That's what you think. No, in my family they sat seven months on me. <laughs> Crazy people, sick in their minds. And I had to go through all of that. All of those nonsense I had to go through. All of those rebukes and insultings and no, and what are you doing? Told them, what am I doing? I want to keep Shabbat. What do you want from me? You don't want to keep Shabbat, don't keep Shabbat. I want, I feel like keeping Shabbat. Now, you want me to drive in Shabbat? You're going to make you happy if I'm going to drive in Shabbat? You're crazy? That's what's going to make you happy? You want to see me eating shrimps? It's going to make you happy. If I'm going to eat shrimps, you will be happy. That's a, I don't want to eat that anymore. I want to eat steaks, okay? Let's eat steaks. What's the problem? We can't enjoy a steak. People are sick in their minds. So how many people are weaker than me and they don't have the power to confront their parents? Oh, don't tell my parents that I'm doing tshuva. Please don't tell my parents that I want to convert. Oh, please. What's going on with you? If your parents are, 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 are the, 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 um, uh, 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 Jailkeepers. Jailkeepers of you to, to keep you out of your freedom. So go away. Leave your house. Be like Avraham Avinu. Find your own way. Find your way back home. Become to be who that you are. If they are watching over you that you will not going to become to be who that you are, it's time, my friend, to say goodbye. Goodbye. Open your wings of freedom. Karati lachem dror. Be a sparrow, a free bird, and fly to your freedom.